Hey, what's up, Team Flynn? So I've used my fair share of microphones over the years. I've been podcasting for over 12 years, doing video for about a decade, and I just came across a microphone for us podcasters and streamers that it's pretty freaking dope, and I wanted to share it with you. By the way, this review and, 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 and spotlight on this microphone I'm about to share with you, I'm not a super technical person. In fact, this is probably the least technical review you'll ever see. It is an unboxing. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna plug it in. We're gonna play it. We're gonna listen to it. That you'll get to make your own decision. So that's that's how we roll. Now, for a number of years, I've been using this microphone and I still continue to use it. I absolutely love it. This is a Heil PR40 Gold Edition. Pretty sweet. SPI, my podcast right there. Uh, for my live streams in the morning, I use this microphone here, which is the Rode NTG2 shotgun mic, so I can capture my voice looking at that camera over there. I also have, I don't know if you can see this, but another Heil PR40 there. That's for a gaming setup, so my son will stream over here, I'll stream over there, we're on Twitch, you can check us out if you like video games and kids and parenting and all that stuff. We won! Oh my gosh! gosh. We did it, Kai, you did it! What? Kai, you did it! But anyway, I have a whole bunch of other mics. ATR2100, another ATR2100, oh, uh, yep, and another ATR2100. And there's a Samson Q2U sitting around and some other mics. And if you don't know what those are, that's okay. Because I wanted to introduce to you another mic that I love because it's plug and play easy. It looks pretty sweet. It has a lot of options. And what's really cool is you can set it down at a table right in front of you with another person on the other end, your social distancing, yet you can capture both sides in an interview with just one microphone. Let me show it to you. All right, there it is. The Lyra from AKG by Harman. Is it like... Is AKG the brand? Harman is the brand that makes the AKG, but this is the Lyra microphone. I don't know, a little confused, but that's okay, because this mic kicks butt. I had a chance to test it. I wanted to literally put it back in the box and then unbox it for you. Um, Ultra HD microphone, multi-mode USB. And this is, again, pretty sweet. Plugs in via USB-C. You can plug it even into your iPad. Um, we're gonna test that as well. We're gonna plug it into an iPad Pro, see if it picks it up, see what it sounds like. We'll have some fun with it and you can make an informed decision whether or not if you're choosing to use a microphone for your streams, for your Zooms, for your podcast, whatever, we can see if this is the right mic for you. All right, so let's unbox this guy and then we'll plug him in. Opening it up, see what's inside, some instructions. There's the microphone there. Let's take it out. Connector for your little boom arms or other stand that you might have, which is nice, a little adapter for you. There it is. Reminds me of sort of those old broadcaster mics that you see on old television shows and stuff. Where's your Uncle Pete? We were held up, Tom. Three men. They took the flying B pay roll and headed up toward Pine Gap. Totally forgot there's a USB cable in there too. USB-C to USB-A. We're gonna connect that and we're gonna plug and play and see what happens. Really quick, first impression just based on quality. It's cool. It's sort of half plastic, half aluminum or some sort of die cast metal and uh, feels really good. So first of all, let's check out the size really quick. So here's the size of my hand here. It's about the size of my hand. It's, it's not a tiny microphone. I mean, if we compare this to one of these guys, of course, it's a little bit bigger, but it does come with a really nice stand. This stand, thankfully, is metal and it's sturdy. I filmed the video unboxing the ATR2100X and then this happened. All right, it broke again. So that, that's not gonna happen here. This seems to adjust. Uh, I believe we can take this guy off and you can hang it. And that's what this is for. You can put this on a boom arm, sort of like this, so we can sort of hang it and, and, and play it like that if you'd like. So that's kind of the comparison there to the Heil. Let's put this sort of kind of right next to it. It's kind of a cool, it's kind of a cool look. I like it, I like it. All right, on the other side here, this is a headphone jack. So you can actually listen to this as a monitor and of course the USB-C connection which is where this would plug in and then the USB-A right here would plug into your computer. This build sort of a plastic in this blue part here and on the outside knobs here but this is like a really nice metal or aluminum. It's it's quite sturdy. It's pretty heavy. It's definitely more heavy than the ATR2100 and the USB uh, microphones that we're all used to like the Samson QTU but again the build is super nice and you see some dials here. Of course, there's a mute button if you like got a sneeze or cough or something, plus for your headphone jack, again, which is below, you're able to adjust the volume there. Now the sweet stuff is on the other side. So let's flip this over. Let's take a look at what we have here. We have microphone pattern 
and microphone gain. Gain obviously allowing you to collect more sound from the room around you. And you know, you don't wanna go too high with that and we'll test it out in just a minute. But microphone pattern, like a lot of people are confused about this including me. So let's look at the microphone patterns on the side of the box and try to figure out what they mean. All right, so we got the setup here. And as we can see, there is front. Let's take a closer look at this. You have front, which is like, okay, if you're just gonna record yourself. So that would look like this. I believe you would just kind of record into it like that. Then we have the wide stereo. So back left, back right, front left, front right. So if we adjust the pattern, and this, this does click if I were to spin this one, it does click. And I would imagine that that, that that actually changes the colors here, right? Front, back, front, tight stereo, wide stereo. That's the one that we just looked at was front and back. Then tight stereo, which is sort of this one here, as you can see, front, line, uh, front left, front right. So if you want that sort of stereo sound and then wide stereo down here, which is sort of all around like that. Um, this is what you wanna do if you're doing an interview. So this is front and back so that front and back one right there, you adjust it to that. Oh, they, it's kind of weird that like you adjust it on this side, right? You adjust the microphone pattern on this side and then you have to see the colors on this side. That's pretty interesting to me. And of course the mute button. Let's fire it up and see how it sounds. Okay, so we're using a MacBook Pro here. So I gotta use my favorite word in the world, dongle, and plug this guy in. I'm gonna plug the USB-A in on this side and then we're gonna go underneath here. And this, this cord's quite long. I would imagine it's maybe six feet long, which is pretty cool. But we're gonna go to the undercarriage here. I never said that word before, but let's plug it in anyway. And we are, we're on. As you can see, we're on wide stereo right now. But again, to adjust that, we have to flip this. So let me spin it and see if this changes. Cool. So if we're just recording me, we want front. Front and back, that would be for an interview. Again, front and back. And I can just set this on the table and do an interview with you on the other side. And then I have uh, tight stereo if I'm like doing some music and wide stereo if I wanna capture more of the room sound or if I'm doing like a whole load of instruments or a drum set, for example. Um, what's really interesting is I'm trying to adjust this. And I noticed that the, the cord that it comes with is quite long. So I'm having some trouble sort of easily moving this. I mean, it's not that huge of a deal. If I offer it a little bit of slack, it's going to be a lot easier, but there is, there is some weirdness there. And of course, in most cases, you just kind of have it up like that. And yes, you see down here, this is where we can screw this. I don't know if you'd see that, but we can unscrew this and that's how we can sort of turn it into something that could attach to a boom arm with the attachment that came with it. But anyway, uh, let's fire up, I don't know, GarageBand and just kind of record. Uh, here's the mute button. How do I know? Oh, okay, it's mute. Mute, can you see it turns red when I hit it? There we go. That was weird. Okay, cool. Nice. So I wanna go to front and this is for the headset uh, and this is mute and on the back side, there we go, microphone gain. So let's play around with these things and listen to what it sounds like. Okay, here in Adobe Audition, we're actually going to use the input as the AKG C44 USB. So that's the AKG Lyra, we're gonna go yes. And then for the output, let's use the AKG as well. I'm gonna plug a headset into the bottom side of this to make sure that we can actually hear ourselves too at the same time. All right, we got our DT 990 Pros. These are awesome. I absolutely love these. So let's plug these in underneath. Okay, so we're gonna run our first test here with the AKG Lyra. You're listening to my little lapel mic right now, but I'm about to hit record and you're gonna hear what it sounds like. I have the gain sort of set kind of as low as possible, but to still be able to hear me because if I set it too high and I'll run this test while I, when, when I play it for you, um, it's gonna sound, you're gonna hear a lot of the fan noise around, around the room here. So it's nice that I can control that right from here. Now you have to be careful because I ran this earlier uh, into this problem. This is the front. This side here is the front. The front be meaning the part that you can see which sort of setting it's in. Uh, right now it's on front versus if you were to go to the other side, it's actually not gonna capture because that's the back side. You'd have to turn the microphone pattern to front and back to capture that noise on both sides, but that's only purposeful if you are conducting an interview with this thing, uh, which I love that feature, but it's just me right now. So I'm gonna make sure it's front. I'm gonna make sure I have the front facing me, make sure I am not muted and I'm gonna hit record and let's do this. Hey everybody, welcome to the Smart Passive Income Podcast. This is Pat Flynn. Thank you so much for joining me today. And for those of you watching on YouTube right now, if you could hit subscribe and hit that like button, that'd be really amazing. And again, these technical 
slash not so technical reviews um, are here for you so you can speak the same language because there's a lot of great people here on YouTube who can share some better insight on a lot of the technical stuff related to these things. I'm just here to test them as a brand new user like you uh, if you want to make an informed decision before you buy these things. So anyway, I think it sounds pretty good. Now let me turn the gain up a little bit so you can hear that room noise. You hear that fan? I don't want to talk too loud because I'd break your eardrums, but it sounds a little creepy when I'm whispering like this. And even my S's, I find, at this volume are a little loud. Okay, I'm going to stop because that's really scary. But as you can hear, it does have that deep, resonant voice, and I like how it sounds. It sounds very broadcasty. It's very clean. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. How do you feel about this in terms of the sound quality, the way you're listening to it right now? Okay, well, let's cut back to, actually, let's hit stop. There we go. So we're back to regular now, and you can hear sort of the difference between just a sort of lapel microphone on my chest versus the AKG microphone that's hooked up, which is really cool. So I love how I can just plug it in like that, and it's ready to go. I didn't really have to deal with any settings. Obviously, I can do some things in post, but as you heard, it sounds pretty clean, sort of right out of the box, which is really great. The only issues that I find is number one, remembering that the front is this, the one with the blue light telling me which one it's on. And then finally, the the, the headphone jack. Um, it's not that convenient because if I wanted to move this around, it's not exactly straight because as you can see here, I can't, can't move it, right? And I'm gonna hit record here again. If I touch this thing, I'm trying to move it. Can, can you hear that? Can you hear that, y'all? Enjoy this ASMR from Pat Flynn. I just lost like 100,000 subscribers. Okay. Don't touch the microphone. All right, that was pretty cool. So now I wanna test how it sounds just plugging it straight into an iPad. So I'm going to need a dongle for this because the iPad is indeed, no, actually, I would just need a separate USB-C connector. Yeah, I'm gonna find a USB-C to USB-C. I'm gonna plug it into my USB-C and you will see and hear how it sounds. It's so crazy. Okay, so we got the iPad Pro over there. We have the AKG Lyra here, and now we have my USB-C to USB-C cable, which I now have to undo, so my apologies. Let me get this done really quick. All right, USB-C to USB-C. Let's plug them in. All right, so now I'm in an app called Ferrite, which is a great app to record some podcasts episodes in. And as you can see on the screen now, I am actually recording this for you, so you can see the mic coming in, and it actually does say the AKG C44 USB, same as we saw on the MacBook Pro. And I'm gonna hit mute here just to make sure the mute button works. I'm gonna hit mute, there we go. And okay, that muted. Now you can't hear it yet. I'm about to hit record on this and what you're about to hear is the actual recording of the AKG into the iPad. And I've adjusted the gain already to fit exactly where we're at. So I'm gonna hit record and here we are recording. What's up everybody, welcome in. Thanks so much for being here today. And again, if you haven't yet hit subscribe to the channel, make sure you do that. And I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're staying safe during this time and I appreciate you. Team Flynn for the win. All right, so that sounded pretty good. I did notice a little bit of hissing, although that could be removed in edit, uh, in post edit, but I could imagine there could be certain settings that I could uh, change here, uh, even in Ferrite to change that. And of course I'm, like I said, in a very loud room. The mics that I record here on my podcast are away from my fans. I turn the lights off so I don't have that problem. And um, with the High OPR 40, I absolutely love that. I'm still gonna continue to use the High OPR 40 for my main podcast. However, if I'm on the go, I would rather use this microphone because I don't have to carry a stand with it. The stand's already built in. It is very durable and I can do an interview with just one microphone, which is super cool. And I love that feature. So overall, how do I feel about this microphone? Um, it's definitely a top recommendation. It's a little bit more expensive than the ATR 2100s, but you definitely get the build quality and the versatility, especially when it comes to the dual interview and also the tight stereo, the surround wide stereo, uh, front and front and back. That's really neat. This is literally choking me right now. I like the look of it. It would look good on camera as well, especially if you were to hook it up to something like this uh, on a boom, uh, boom arm. Price point currently for this mic on Amazon is $149, so one, about 150 And I think that's very reasonable for sure. Sound quality, I'm very impressed with it. And the fact that I just plugged it in straight 
to the bottom carriage, I don't know what these words are that I'm using today, to the underside, to the port within the iPad Pro, um, and it just worked like a charm. In Ferrite, you could use it for your transcription tools and apps that you might be using. You could use it on your voice memo apps. This is a really great tool. Like I said, it looks good. It's a little big, and I don't like the sort of underside here and how these sort of can't go through, obviously, if I were to do that. Now, if, obviously, if you were to set it up once, it would be fine. Um, and then the fact that you kind of have to adjust in the back and, you know, as I switch these things, it moves on the front. And then, of course, if I want to adjust the gain, I mean, that's not a huge problem, but I just, you know, make sure if you're recording to this, this is the front side here. Hey, Hidden Mickey, look at that. Hidden Mickey. I don't know. It's late here, y'all. I wanted to film this video for you. Thanks to AKG for sending this to me. Um, I've used it in the past. Mike Russell introduced it to me. I was very impressed. I'm glad I had it for a number of weeks here to be able to test it out and try it out and share it with you. And I will definitely be using it, especially if I'm going to be on the go. If I can go to conferences again, I'm definitely getting this. I know a number of people who have taken my recommendation about this microphone in the past, and they're very happy with it. It looks good on a stream. I like the professional look of it, and um, it sounds great. So check it out. Links in the description below, of course, and I appreciate you for being here, Team Flynn, and I hope you enjoyed this not-so-technical review from somebody who is not so knowledgeable about this stuff. I just get the stuff that works, and I use it because I'm trying to provide great content to you. You get to make your own decisions. I'm just here to show you different examples, and again, I appreciate you for your time, your attention. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to check out another microphone that I once reviewed, you can actually click on the link over here, the thing that's popping up on the screen right now, and make sure, again, you hit that subscribe button. Button two, uh, Team Flynn, you're amazing. As always, take care. Team Flynn for the win.